Today, we're going to be diving into the Arizona Cardinals week two performance versus the LA Rams. We're going to dive into Kyler Murray's spectacular slash perfect game, how Marvin Harrison Jr. really looked like, and how bad is it for the LA Rams? Let's get started. going on everybody welcome back into another video definitely do me a huge favor smack up that like button and subscribe for more arizona cardinals content on this channel we're covering the arizona cardinals throughout the entirety of the 2024 season reactions post game shows all you can think of so make sure you subscribe it up it's absolutely for free all right, everybody, let's go and dive right into it. Let's go ahead and talk about the aftermath of the week two performance of the Arizona Cardinals annihilating the LA Rams. And as of right now, we've heard, you know, Kyler Murray speak. We heard Marvin Harrison Jr. speak, and we heard Jonathan Gannon speak. And honestly, with what I've gathered from everybody is that we're going to celebrate this win. And as we should, right, Cardinal fans, as, as well as the players in the organization, because this is a huge win. We've heard a lot of LA Rams fans come out and said they haven't lost, right? And I'm talking about the LA Rams. They have haven't lost in State Farm Stadium since 2014. So there's a lot of you know, Rams fans coming in here, pumping up their chest, and they're really thinking that they're going to come out here and uh, dog walk the Arizona Cardinals, and that was far from the case. Now, granted, the Cardinals were a one-point favorite here when it comes down to, obviously, sports betting and, and Vegas and all that, but I don't think anybody suspected the absolutely annihilation of the Rams, right? We absolutely took their heart out and threw it on the floor and stomped on it, and honestly, it was a good feeling because the Cardinals have always been in a situation where we can never be a Sean McVay led Rams. And guess what? We now have three wins on Sean McVay. And I'm hoping that this is just the start, right? The snowball effect that could really happen uh, for the Cardinals moving forward. But let's talk about this performance, right? There's a lot of you know, good positivity, good things to take away from this game. Now, in week one, there was a lot of good positivity to take away as well, but what we needed to learn was to finish a game, right? And the Cardinals absolutely did that. So in week two, the Arizona Cardinals did start off hot in the first half as well, and they finished out the game with scoring 17 points in the second half. Now, I don't think there's any surprise here as to how or why the Arizona Cardinals absolutely annihilated the Rams. We've showed a lot of grit. We showed a lot of promise in week one versus the Buffalo Bills. And there's some people out there that truly believe that the Buffalo Bills are Super Bowl contenders. So it's a really good thing to go into Buffalo with those wins and, you know, you know, hold our own, right? We only lost by six points and some people might have said we should have won that game. But I think at the end of the day, we learned a lot from that Buffalo game and translate it here to the LA Rams game. So, hey, have you heard of NFL all day? This really cool way to collect and own official NFL highlights. You can collect some of the biggest plays in football and now they're even adding the top rookies just like Marvin Harrison Jr. and others from this year's 2024 draft class. Basically, you buy a pack with moments like a touchdown or a game-changing interception and each one of them is unique. They're all tied to a blockchain so it's like owning a piece of the NFL that's totally yours. Plus, with the new rookie class added, you can pull a moment from one of the league's rising stars right from the start. What's awesome is that you can hold on to them or trade and sell them with other collectors. Some of the rarer moments, especially those from breakout rookies, can go up in value. So it's not all about collecting. It's also a fun way to invest in the future of the game, and there are always new challenges and events where you can earn even more moments. It really feels like you're a part of the NFL community. In one of my vintage packs, I was able to pull the incredible Anias Williams with a huge pick six in 1999 against the now Commanders. In my most recent packs, I was able to pull more Marquise Hollywood Brown in 2023, taking an end around pass against the Commanders, and Rondo Moore taking a pitch out of the backfield against the Seattle Seahawks. Seriously, now is the perfect time to jump in. Grab a pack and see what you pull. Come on over to NFL all day right now, and let's get started. Overall, with what we've heard here from Jonathan Gannon is that he's very, very, you know, optimistic about the players that we have, but he's mainly focused on the team, right? We've heard multiple instances where the media said, oh, is this the best game from Kyler Murray, right? Uh, is this the, the best you've ever seen him? And, you know, Jonathan Gannon has come out and said, yes, you know, he looks really good, but he doesn't want to lose focus as to the fact that it was the entire offense right now k1 played a very very good game and i can definitely admit that myself he was absolutely spectacular i think the only four incompletions that he had in this game were to marvin harrison jr and marvin harrison jr acknowledged that and he doesn't like it right he's actually wants to go back into the drawing board wants to go back into the lab and make sure that any incompletions is not his fault but it's but it's a really good breath of fresh air to hear everybody right marvin harrison jr kyla murray as well as jonathan gannon come out and say this is a huge team win 
Marvin, right? The individual accolades come with you playing very, very well. And obviously Marvin Harrison Jr. putting up Randy Moss numbers, Kyler Murray looking like an MVP as well. And then Jonathan Gannon getting his first win against Sean McVay. It's a really, really good step in the right direction for this Cardinals organization. Now let's dive into a little bit of individual stats here for Kyler Murray and Marvin Harrison Jr. Obviously, I think those are the big, big names out there pertaining to, you know, what they've done over the weekend. And they got a lot of eyes on the Cardinals now moving forward. Now we do have the, uh, the Detroit Lions in week three, which is a home game as well. There's a lot more Cardinal fans excited about that game and think that we can actually potentially win against the Detroit Lions. So obviously we got maybe one more day before we move on to Detroit as well, but I want to make sure that we bask in the glory and actually celebrate this win because it's a huge win. Uh, Kyler Murray in this game versus the LA Rams, I'm telling you, this is one of the best performances I've seen from, from Kyler Murray in a very, very long time. He played absolutely outstanding and I don't think there's anybody out here saying you know anything different In this game Kyler Murray was 17 for 21 266 yards and had a QBR rating of 98.2 now like I mentioned a little earlier he did have four incompletions and per Marvin Harrison Jr. all those incompletions were targeting Marvin Harrison Jr. now that's going to be one of those things where it'll get cleaned up and I'm, I'm, I almost promise you that it will get cleaned up right in week one where he only had one target four yards I truly stand on my soapbox and say I don't think he was a big focal point in uh, the Buffalo game because the wins, right? I think they were doing the short game. They were trying to establish the run. And obviously the Buffalo Bills, you know, adjusted while the Cardinals didn't. But in this specific game versus the LA Rams in our home, and obviously we, we play in a dome, it was a lot different, right? We were going to allow this ball to be flung everywhere. And boy, did Kyler Murray have a fantastic dominant game? Yes, he did. He had three touchdowns um, and he just... He just looked very well. He also got involved with his legs as well. And they were big, crucial run out of the pockets, right? We're talking about 2021, right? Glimpses of MVP Kyler Murray in this game. And this is exactly what Cardinal fans needed to see to re-believe in our QB1. And at the end of the day, I know there's some Cardinal fans out there that are split between yes, Kyler, no Kyler. But I'm very curious to figure out those people that do not like Kyler to, to kind of let me know what they feel about this performance. Because honestly, I think this performance really is going to shut a lot of people up until the next week, right? Now, I do believe that Kyler Murray is in a really tough situation because when he doesn't do good, there's a lot of people kind of jumping on him. But when he does good, people are just kind of waiting for the next slip up from Kyler Murray. But that kind of goes to show, right? That kind of goes from the quarterback you know, position because right now we're giving a lot of praise to Kyler Murray because of this dominant win as well as Marvin Harrison Jr. So overall, this is as perfect of a game as you can see, right? Um, now, we said it earlier, Four incompletions, those were to a rookie wide receiver that they still need to get a little bit more comfortability with each other, but watch out when they do because it's going to get scary. Absolute scary. Let's talk about Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. had himself a game. By the time we blinked, by the time we noticed, Marvin Harrison Jr. already had two touchdowns in this game, and he probably could have got another one, right? But that goes to the incompletions and not just being familiar with how Kyler Murray is throwing that fade route to Marvin Harrison Jr. They're going to get that fixed. I, I know they will. But man, did Marvin Harrison Jr. have himself a game? Yes, absolutely he did. He had four receptions, 130 yards, two receiving touchdowns. And man, those touchdowns were absolutely just a glimpse of what a wide receiver one can do for your organization, right? Now we've had a wide receiver one with Kyler Murray, but it was DeAndre Hopkins. Now he was already late 20s, right? Maybe even in the 30s. We had Larry Fitzgerald in the tail end of his career. It's a really good breath of fresh air to see a young wide receiver that's 22 years old that's going to be growing with this organization that's going to be growing with this quarterback as long as Kyler Murray can stay healthy and show those type of performances in a consistent basis I don't think anybody's going to have an issue with Kyler Murray being the franchise quarterback for years to come so Marvin Harrison Jr. continue to talk about him just how dominant how much of a difference maker this guy is now last week there was some comments out there and I'm not sure if they were just people trolling or, or actual Cardinal fans, but there are people saying that this was a not a good pick for the Cardinals because he had one reception, four yards, right? Now, the media as well as content creators and everybody who covers the Arizona Cardinals made a big, big focal point as to saying why, right? Why has Marvin Harrison Jr. only got this amount of targets, this amount of uh, catches? I think the Cardinals heard us, right? Now, Jonathan Gannon was asked about this situation. Now, Jonathan Gannon came out and was being very cool, calm, and collected. He All he said was, that's where the ball should be going, right? So, at the end of the day, I don't care, right? He can say that's where the ball should be going. 
or, you know, it was just a great play by Kyler Murray. But at the end of the day, as long as the Cardinals win, that's all we care about, right? Because wins here everything just an overall huge turnaround from this offense in terms of getting these wide receivers involved and it, we got to call out the elephant in the room here right the run game of james connor if we can get that type of performance week in and week out we're going to be an absolutely deadly team we're going to be a deadly team to really potentially try to stop so this offense has a lot of good things going for them right marvin harrison jr michael wilson trey mcbride james connor in the backfield and of course greg dorch in the slot this team has got the ability on the offensive side to be very very good now let's give some love over to the defense i've said this before i think this defense here is very very interesting and a lot of unknown right talking about week one one of the biggest questions was pass rush we don't have pass rush boy did that 180 and flip on my ear absolutely and i love it i love eating crow because in this week versus matthew stafford we had three sacks from dennis gardick with the forced fumble and then zayvon collins also got involved with the sack as well now i did say this last week that we were providing some pressure on josh allen the problem was that he's a wizard he, he's able to get out of the stickiest situations that's not the case with uh, matthew stafford right he's more of a pocket quarterback surgical type of quarterback if he has time in the pocket he's going to make you pay the, the thing was that the cardinals had pressure on him interior as well as the on the edge as well so the cardinals did a very very good job defensively and, and i know there were some talks out there about a potential mock trade uh being done by buda baker getting traded away for hassan reddick honestly i think we can all kind of shut that to rest right now because buda baker is absolutely who we need on this defense especially in the back end i do not want to trade buda baker personally i've always been on buda baker's side i know he's kind of had some little slip ups in this game um where he kind of got a little lost but overall he was dominant in this game he was an absolute mastermind he was making plays when you know you didn't think there was somebody there he just came in like a rocket and made the uh the tackle so buda baker overall as well as the edge rushers did a fantastic job for the arizona cardinals defense and like i said they did a completely 180 and this team looks so much better defensively where does this put us in the standings in terms of the NFC West? This is a very, very interesting situation to find ourselves in because obviously the Arizona Cardinals were 0-1 last week and just like that, beating the Rams, which is the division rival, shoots us over to the number two spot here now we do got the uh, Seattle Seahawks sitting at that number one spot at two and O, oh, but they did play very very easy teams with the Denver Broncos as well as the New England Patriots think of the Arizona Cardinals with a little bit of a leg up because we do got that division uh, win under our belt as well so ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts here about the Arizona Cardinals heading into week three how do you feel about the 2024 Arizona Cardinals has your mind changed let me know in the comments below are you believing that we can potentially be a playoff team put it in the comments below as always have a great rest of your day and go cardinals